They can't stay in here anymore. Mama says they're, they've been here for three weeks. No! We'll get spaceships some other day, okay? Say bye, spaceships. Disappeared when they were sleeping. Ah! We just finally done. I opened it up and it fizzed last night. So, Ugh. probably couldn't hear that. But there's a. So. Okay, it is tasting whiny, but it's good. I decided it tastes really good. It's a smell that trips you up because it smells vinegary. Sorry for the horrible lighting and the mess in the background. We're getting ready to go out of town for Labor Day weekend here. And I've been running around packing and doing laundry and working. And you all know I've been working crazy hours. So I am going to do quickly the, um, what's it called? The birth story tag. And I have the questions on my phone from when Dan and Katie Parrott did it back on the 21st. And I've been meaning to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to try to include all three pregnancies. Um... But we'll just see from there. Um, first question is, what is your due date with Jaden? My due date was April 9th, 2010. Josiah was January 23rd, 2012. And Judson was March 8th, 2015. Um, what date did you actually give birth? Jaden, I gave birth on March 21st, 2010. Jojo was born on his due date on the 23rd of January, 2012, and Judson was born on March 5th, 2015. In the days leading up to birth, what did you do to prepare? I did not take classes for any of mine. I just kind of figured that my baby would come out one way or another, and I just didn't have time or the money to do it, so I just didn't take classes. I had my bags packed in, in the car and ready to go, and that's about all I did. Um, did you experience any signs of going to labor soon? Okay, so with Jaden, his delivery was... Well, I don't want to answer all of these questions because... They are... I might... Nah, I might have to... I can't talk. I don't want to answer the questions in this description, but um, in the days... Or signs that I'd go to labor, Jaden, I ended up going in... And because I had polyhydranos with all three pregnancies, I'm considered semi-high risk. So they did go ahead and admit me because I was at a four. And I was on Pitocin for two days. Um, so there was really no signs with that. Um, Josiah, I had cramping after my appointment that day. Um, I was, it was my due date. We had scheduled my induction date for the next day, next week. And... I was, like, having cramping, but it was, like, nothing new because if anybody's ever had polyhydramnos, you have cramping all the time because you're just so heavy. And then I was going to meet my friends at Perkins and ended up not making it to Perkins because I ended up having heavy, hardcore contractions to the point where I was pumping gas and fell to the ground. Um, and we were at the hospital for um, seven minutes from the time we pulled into the parking lot to the time he came out. My labor was 45 minutes start to finish. Um, and then Judson, again, it was a failed induction. I had, I was induced on the, um, second into the third. I went home for the fourth and came back the fifth. Rate your pre-birth nervousness level on a scale of one to ten, one being not nervous at all and ten being petrified. Well, I wasn't nervous going into having Jaden. Um, the other ones I didn't care about. I didn't, wasn't nervous because I'd already been there, done that. Jaden, I was nervous when they broke my water because I had polyhydramnos and they needed to prick my water. The nurse, like, gowned up in this suit and got in between my legs with her hands down there just in case the cord came out first and had me sign all these documents in case I had to go in for an emergency C-section and that scared the bejeebus out of me. But the other ones I wasn't nervous for. Um, what were you doing when you went into labor when your water broke or found out you needed a C-section? Well, I was induced twice. And with Joe, I knew I was very much in labor. My water broke as soon as we got to the hospital. And, yeah. Um, what do contractions feel like? 
Jaden's were all back labor, so my back felt like it was like in the worst pain ever. And then contractions, they just hurt like a mother fricker. That's for show. Did you deliver at a hospital, birth center, or home? I delivered at a hospital. Um, did you have a midwife, a doctor, or who was your birth unassisted? Well, I did have a doctor for Joe, for Jaden, too many J's, for Jaden, and then Joe and Judson, I had a midwife. Who were your other supporters? My husband. Only my husband was in the room. It was a big deal to him. that This was like an intimate moment between the two of us. And, you know, to be honest, after the first one, I didn't really care who saw me in what position or what state. Because you just don't care when you're in that much pain. Um, but I was honestly afraid that I'd swear if I was in a lot of pain. And I didn't want my mom or my mother-in-law in the room when we did that. So, um... What were you really glad you had during your birth? Um, a sports bra on? Because if any of you that are larger chested would could attribute to this, there's nothing worse than, like, everything flailing everywhere. I'm glad I had my sports bra. Um, what, me, what type of pain management did you use? Okay, with Jaden, I did get an epidural. However, it didn't kick in, and um, it wasn't working, wasn't working, wasn't working. So they finally got the anesthesiologist to come back in and turn it back up as I was pushing. So I really never got it. And then the other two, I did it sans meds. No meds, baby. And I will never, ever, ever, ever be induced without an epidural ever again. That was the worst pain I've ever had in my entire life. It was so much worse than normal birth. The contractions never stopped, and they were hardcore, hardcore. Worst pain of my life. Um, what position did you find yourself in the most? Eye on my back. Did you experience a ring of fire? Yeah, it's a strange feeling. If you've had a... Excuse me, just burped ever felt it it is it literally just feels like all of a sudden right before you need to push your vagina just feels like it's hot and on fire it doesn't hurt it's not uncomfortable that's not the part that hurts you just it does feel like it's on fire what was the first thing that you popped into your head when you saw that baby when you saw your baby with all three of them it was just like a surreal moment like you just did that you just pushed that baby out and then the thoughts of like first of all like is everything okay like do they have all their limbs do you know are they breathing like is everything okay and then it's like back to like i'm their mama like this is so crazy like welcome to my life i can't wait to get to know you um uh, <laughs> what was your baby's length and weight Jaden was 7 pounds, 7 ounces, and 21 inches. JoJo was 18 pounds, 13 ounces, and 23 inches. 22 inches. 22 inches. And then Judson was 9 pounds, 2 ounces, and um, the hospital said it was 22 inches, but the uh, doctor's office, without pulling him to death, said it was 21 and a half. From your first true labor, labor contraction to delivery, how long did you labor for? Jaden's was like, I mean, I was on Pitocin for two days, so like 40 hours. But when they pricked my water and things actually started going, it was two hours. Joe was 45 minutes, and Judson was about two hours, an hour and a half. Um, what was the most challenging for you, labor, pushing, or recovery? Jaden's was laboring. JoJo's, there was no really challenging because there was not enough time for that. And then Judson, the labor was pretty pretty rough. Um, I only pushed for two minutes with Joge and Jaden. Or no, sorry, Joge and Judson, I pushed for two minutes. And so, though I can't say that it's actual delivery, but recovery kicked my butt with Judson. Like, my hips were out of place or something. I, like, couldn't walk, couldn't walk upstairs. It was, I was, like, really sore. Um, what is one piece of advice that you'd give a about birth mom to be what I always tell people is like go you can have a birth plan if you want however the thing is is that births really go the way that you want them to and so it's really important to go in with an open mind to have a plan and have an idea especially if it's your first just go in open-minded so that you don't ruin your birth experience because it ruined mine I didn't want any kind of interventions or anything like that and it just didn't happen that way and I was like upset and depressed about it for a little bit and so I always remind people like don't go in with these preconceived ideas that might not go the way you want them to I think it's great to stand your ground and say like unless I ask twice for an epidural don't give it to me or like don't ask me for these kind of things and I want to labor longer 
even if it's risky before I have a c-section and stuff like that like it's totally okay have those plans but be okay with just find a way to make your plan but not be set in stones so that if your birth doesn't go the way you want it that you're not torn up about it um funny story about pushing before I show you some pictures of like my first couple pictures of the babies um is that my last baby Judson my midwife had me and another lady in the other room from their clinic um, at the hospital laboring at the exact same time I did not have an epidural and she did we both started pushing at needing to push at the exact same time so she literally looked at the lady with an epidural and said you need to hold this baby in the girl next door does not have an epidural and she pushes fast because this is a lady that I had with Jojo um in fact my midwives did not make it to my delivery for Joe some random doctor walked in put on a gown pulled my baby out as I pushed him real quick gave me a shot and walked out the door didn't even know his name nothing like it was that fast so she's like I can't risk it I need to go in there quick and so she walked in she's like all right Alicia this lady's holding the baby in for you do what we know you need to do two minutes push that baby out he was out she did her thing. She's like, good job. Now I need to go deliver this other baby. I'll be right back. And she was in there for like 45 more minutes. And she came in and she's like, I told you, you, I told her you were a fast pusher. And when I walked in her room, she couldn't believe I was back already. So that's a funny story. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever have a baby. I don't, another baby. I don't think it's in the books, but if I am, if I do again, um, it's kind of crazy to see if it will continue with that same um, ability to push those babies out fast. And they weren't tiny babies, and I didn't tear at all. I didn't tear at any of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever have one for us. I've had crazy dreams, and this is really strange because it would be really hard for me, but I've actually had crazy dreams about being a, um, gestational, what is it called? Where you carry somebody else's baby, where they, like, use their eggs and their sperm and fertilize it and then you just carry it from like a gestational carrier i've had like several like too real to forget dreams about it so who knows maybe that will be in my card someday who knows um all right so here's some pictures i tag all of you beautiful mamas um sweet family life ties like tie life um story of my life life with leah um, Smart Mom 1981. What other mamas do I know out there that haven't done this? Do, 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 do. Mommy Wolf Pack. Girl, that will take you a long time. Alright, that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>